M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Radtail RT4D, which I think is a nice little set. It's a budget set. And today we're going to show you how to set up your duplex hotspot that I'll just quickly show you here. That's what it looks like. They're only about £70, but they have two antennas. Okay, and we're going to show you how to set it up, and then you'll be able to get all this information on screen as well. You can receive two stations at the same time. You can actually run two radios from one hotspot. Very handy. So let's show you the settings. And you'll hear right now that it's working very well. And yes, we do get the uh, all the call signs on screen. And the way that's done... Mine came preloaded from the factory. Otherwise, you go to address book here in the software. It opens up this window, and then behind my head, you've got the options there. Let's turn this down to um, import CSV file and to write, you know, to write it to the radio as well. Okay. So let's show you my duplex setting. We need settings on the hotspot and the radio to be correct. First thing you want to do is go to your channel. And at the moment I'm on duplex channel 23, uh, let's get it right, talk group 91 is what I'm using. So what we'll do, go into that channel just here, which is channel 21, double click. And you'll see that I've got 434.450 on receive. Make sure we move all this out of the way. Too many radios here. On transmit, 439.450. It's very important you get this the right, way, the right way round. Digital. Power depends on whether you're using a hotspot or a repeater. So I'm using a hotspot. But the setup is pretty much the same. Maybe a different colour code. And then I've named it duplex 91, but I've given it an extra number two for slot two. Then at the bottom here, we've got to put it into receive group list. I'm finding that if you go to receive group list, you just need to make sure that your contacts or your talk group numbers are in that in that list. OK, just add them in. I just find that it works better if I do that. You do need to create your own contacts in the contacts tab. So that is your talk group numbers. And I've only got a few here, as you can see. Um, and, and I'm using mainly 91, 2351, 2350, Hubnet, 23526, and the local one. And so the one I'm using in this case is 91. Back to the channel. And then so you'll see down here, I've selected my receive group list if you go back there remember there i've just named it m0 fxb just to make it easier to find of course within your radio you need to make sure you've got your dmr number otherwise nothing's going to work very important and let's go back you can program all the buttons by the way you can program all the keys from naught to nine back to channel creation so once you've done this channel you put in the frequencies, you name it so you can recognize it. Um, select the talk group you want it to transmit and receive on, which is I've selected Worldwide 91 that was created in the contacts tab here. Worldwide 91, the important bit is the number, not the name. The number is what really matters. Okay, 91. Back to channel and then dual slot off I put. Find that works best for me. And then DMR slot is two because that's what we've decided to use. Imagine that the DMR slot is half a channel. So we're using the two half of the channel. And then color code for my hotspot is one, but your repeater might be three. Um, and then that's that's all we do. And then you need to put that into a zone just so you can find it. So at the top here, select zone. And then so you can find it, go create a zone, which I've called here duplex. And then just in that zone, see this in the middle here, you've got every channel you've ever created. Put the channels in for your duplex hotspot into that zone. So we've got, I've only created one, two, three, four. Well, I could add a, a disconnect one. So if I show you a disconnect one, uh, so we'll just add one more channel here. We need to keep the same 
frequencies, of course. So we'll go four, three, four dot uh, four five zero. Four three nine dot four five zero, like so, and then we'll keep the power low because it's my hotspot in this room, and we'll just call this one duplex uh, disconnect, like so, and we'll call it slash one to say that we're using, um, you know, we're using slot one. There you go. Then at the bottom, I'm just going to go M0FXB, choose the disconnect contact, like so, and DMR slot off, DMR slot 1, colour code 1 is what we're going to use. And just remember the contact here, I, my, my disconnect is an individual contact, like a private one. You could do a group call, but I find for disconnect that works better. So we need to add that back into our zone. Just make sure it's in there so we go to duplex and then we're looking for that did i name it no i didn't name the channel remember to name the channel so just go let's put that in again this con i'm gonna this con slash s l1 i'm gonna call it that's it and just make sure everything's still in there put it into the zone so we can find it there it is there at the bottom hit duplex zone add and then write to radio so I know it's, it's you know, it feels complicated, but the thing you've got to remember is that all DMR radios have this complication. So there it goes in. So now we need to just put in the correct frequencies into our Pi Star hotspot, otherwise it's not going to work. So over to the Pi Star, click configuration just here. And it's Pi Star and Raspberry to log in. then go over of course it's duplex which is the two little blue dots here you do need a duplex hotspot like the one i showed you earlier dmr and then scroll down and look in this case the receive frequency is 439 450 and the transmit is 434 450. if you look at the channel go back to the channel the receive is 434 450 so it's reverse Okay, otherwise you're choosing your normal hotspot settings, nothing changes there, apart from the fact that you're duplex. And that's it, and I know mine works, so I just had a, a conversation with a couple of people. Now the idea behind this is that if I select a channel, uh, so if I select a different channel on the same group of channels there, in my, if I turn it up, in my hotspot, if I just hit if I go to channel mode, channel mode, I can scroll to the, let's say I want to try and activate Hubnet, I can go to Hubnet, which is channel, no, what channel have I put that on? Um, 22. One, two, three, nine, one, go to 22. One, There's five, Ken. One, Two, two, one. I will get there. Right, channel 22. And then if we go back to the dash and I key, in theory, we should be able to get onto Hubnet as well as TG91. So if you look here now at the very bottom of the screen, you'll see that we've got 23526 connected on slot one and two three five sorry and 91 on slot two it shows at the bottom here and at the top there so you can select one channel on the a band and one channel on the b band and then you won't hear them at the same time but you'll if they're both active at the same time you'll hear one at a time and it'll cue it so it's just I, this is what i like about a duplex hotspot you'll see that i've selected them on the a and the b band just waiting for some activity now. Of course, you can flip between the A and the B.
There's our hotspot and activity. There you go, that's Hubnet coming through. That's via DMR. If you look here on the B band, look, we're listening to 91, but on the A band, if I click the red button, we switch the hub now. So we're effectively listening to two talk groups at the same time, all thanks to one hotspot. Let me just show you the information on that hotspot one last time. And you will get the information coming through on both slots. Slot one and slot two, they will show up. It's a nice little hotspot. I'll put the link in the description for the hotspot and the radio. Bye for now.